Hi there, welcome back. Let's try and understand uh, these seven stanzas that we will discuss. So the first stanza describes the state of the one, all, during pralaya, before the first flutter of reawakening uh, manifestation. Okay, so uh, how, what happens to this absolute all? How does, what happens during pralaya, which is destruction of all uh, consciousness? The stage described in stanza 2 is nearly identical with stanza 1. Of course, if you do not discern, there are a lot of allegorical phases. And uh, please look at these stanzas with the inner faculties. Don't logically try to um, you know, understand them. Look at them with more Neptunian energy than Mercurial. Okay? So, uh, now, stanza third describes the reawakening of the universe after a pralaya, okay, to life and it depicts the emergence of the monads from their state of absorption within the one. The earliest and highest stage in the formation of the worlds, the term monad being one which may apply equally to the vaster solar systems or the tiniest atoms, Stanza 4 is about the differentiation of the germ of the universe and the septenary hierarchy of conscious divine powers or Dhyani Johans. We learn about the laws of nature. Uh, we in, st in stanza 5, we will move on to the process of world formations and uh, how, how cosmic matter is diffused. And then uh, the, the forehead, we'll get into the whirlwind of creation. And then with stanza 6, we are going to try to understand the subsequent stages of how worlds are formed. Right? And uh, we go in depth about how nebulas condense and the planetary chain or we'll discuss a lot on that. Now, moving on to 6, we will talk about the evolution of the fourth great period. All right. And... Uh, this is at the time when she was writing, so in the 19th century. So we've had uh, quite some time pass, and the sixth race is about to come. So stanza six will now describe to you the the appearance of man, and 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 what happens, and of course the development of man. Okay. Now, so a lot of names have been kept, which she discusses in the proem now, and. Um, how certain translations, certain ideas have been lost in translation. And uh, so that was a bit about uh, how we will deal with uh, the stanzas. All right, now let's get straight to the stanzas.